and welcome to Patricia's Orchids. Uh, ignore the mess. I'm afraid uh, I'm in my greenhouse is in a state of uh, flux right now. I have to put a exhaust fan because my greenhouse keeps getting too hot. Anyway, this is my dendrobium formidable. I'm pretty sure that was a what do you call it? Terminal leaf. Anyway, the roots are still growing, so I'm still giving it a light feed every now and then. But for some reason, some of the roots have decided to grow up rather than down. But still, there's still quite a few roots growing down into the pot as well. And this is Dendrobium Formidable lovely flowers big huge white scented flowers and this is my lelia goldiana which didn't do very well last year for some reason i got it in my head that it was a cold grower and it's not to intermediate anyway it has two flower spikes coming along so hopefully it'll totally recover uh, this is my hot growing side. I cover it with uh, bubble wrap at night. This is a first time bloomer for me. I can't wait till the blooms open. But yeah, this is where they go at night and it stays about 18 Celsius. So, and most of that heat will come from the, the bottom. This is what I did last year, and they, everything grew fine. And this is my the back bulb for my Catlia Triani when I split it. You can see the roots are getting nice and long and starting to go into the uh, into the mount. It's still growing new roots, so it seems to like it there on that. I'm quite pleased. Anyway, let me get up the step stool so I can show you a little bit more. This is my Dendrobium Thailand Black. Five pounds. Not bad. <sighs> okay, and this is my Vanda, which I cannot remember what the species name is but it's putting on a second spike as well I'll probably cut that flower spike off so the uh, new one can develop better oh and here's the uh, first time bloomer again so this is Catlia semi alba oh, Catlia Malacia semi alba crossed with Catlia dowiana so I can't wait to see the blooms on that. And over here, I have my Vanda Cerulea and my Lelia Anseps. Both are in spike. I already cut the flower spike off the Vanda, so the new one would have more, more energy, more food, whatever, nutrients. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. And that's my anseps. So my an lily anseps, the flower spike only gets about 18 to 2 feet long. It doesn't get like overly long. But I'm quite pleased with that. My plumeria is here in the greenhouse as well. Uh, usually the leaves will start brown start turning brown and they'll fall off it is deciduous in the winter but so far it seems to be happy so it's about two two and a half feet tall now uh, I grew it from seed about two and a half years ago so hopefully it'll bloom next year it's uh, it'll be three years old so maybe Fingers crossed. 
And over here, I have my intermediate section. Uh, I have my uh, thermostats over here. This is the hot section, which I actually have set at 20. 20. Yeah, 20. So that's actually too warm. I'll have to drop it down to 18, I think, or 19. And this is the intermediate which I've got set at 14 and it's uh, the current temperature is 15.12 so the thermostat the temperature is starting to climb and what it's nine o'clock so that's a reasonable temperature it's cloudy outside no overcast it's a dull day no sun I'm still getting a bit of solar gain. Well, that's the unheated section of the greenhouse. It's up to 13.9. The temperature last night dropped down to 12.9, and the outside temperature was 7. So the lowest it's got in the cold section of the greenhouse is 12.1. And that was when the temperature was 4 Celsius outside. So I'm happy with that. Anyway, this is my Stanhopia tigrina, which has decided to grow a bulb out the side of it, of the basket. Anyways, that's my greenhouse. Now into my house. This is Gaskiliana. This is Catlia gaskiliana. It's uh, a lovely scented Catlia that usually blooms in spring, but the, this year it decided to bloom in the fall. So it's got a lovely uh, light lavender color, but I quite like it. And uh, Catlia maxima. I've got nine flowers open and I got four buds still to open. So it's been now the first spike open probably about two weeks ago. And you can see it's got just the loveliest lip. I love the veining on it. And it's scented. It's a slightly spicy scent, whereas the Gaskiliana is a more sweet scent, sweet floral scent. But yeah, I quite like both flowers. The uh, Maxima is slightly darker, richer in color than the uh, Gaskiliana. But yeah, I quite like both flowers. That's my Maxima and Gaskiliana. I was in Tesco's the other day, so I'm in the line, the queue to check out. Then I see these Oncidians. I think my husband probably thinks I'm crazy. I said, oh, I've got to go and see what they've got. Because Tesco's never has anything but Thals and Nobilis. So when I saw Oncidium hybrids, I said, I've got to go and look. <laughs> so we had to get out of the queue. And on the top shelf, I found these purple Oncidium hybrids. So if anyone knows what it is, if it's a named variety, I wouldn't mind finding out what it is. Anyways, so I'm on the top shelf, looking through the top shelf and all the way behind all the other Oncidiums. In the back, very back corner, I see this. Now, I think it is a Nelly Eiler orange. Look, Looking at the, uh, the Nelly Eiler oranges, they are, seem to be uh, highly bearable in color, but the new 
buds when they open on this seem to be orange or orange color the the white and they fade to white the background but it is uh highly scented it's got the nelly eiler scent to it anyway the plant itself is quite vigorous it looks it's got lots of new growths i won't uh, repot them until they're done blooming, but I will keep them isolated from the my other orchids. I am expecting two orders sometime this month, so when they come I'll do an unboxing video. But for now, this is me saying bye, thank you for watching, and stay safe. Bye!